sleeping. It's like finding the bogey in a library book. Which only serves for me up my reading. Musicians are guilty of the modern curse. We'll only need to all day, trying to write a buzz. Desperate fast, that's what my cat was. Social network had it to reload. Peace general public, give us all you can Position that empty of the modern curse With the nature of joy, turn their right to buzz Let's spread fast as if I can words Social network habit, it's not too rehearsal Songwriting game surgeon Shoot it over to a virgin Speaking a third person Shake inside a ring of sush Sometimes takes over Got to hear this work in progress One more time I have to have such fun to so control Got writer's block Stop me with your couplets And make me with your rhyme Position that guilty of the modern curse With the one to update Just come there right to first That's my past, that's it might get worse Social network of it Listen to rehearse Songwriting gets surgeon Should be made to the toy version Speaking of bad person Seeking cyber research Wonderful. Uh, lots of live music. Lots of live music. It's, it's, like, like, it's been a while. Yes, it has. <laughs> Those of you that don't know, I'm from a few miles down the road, a place called Kidderminster. Anybody heard of it? The first town in the UK to start selling Father's Day cards in packs of five. And the home of the UK's first ever Taser Quest. about uh, all those who take internet obsessions just a teensy weensy bit too far. Coffin can, have you considered a coffin can? So your cyber fan can watch you decompose. The one who knows by your makeup, hair and clothes, where you like to go and watch you cook for tea. Time flies by for a social media butterfly The evergreen publicity machine Coffin cam, have you considered a coffin cam? So your cyber fan can watch you decompose You join the gym for a swim On the way home on a wind board and ice cream Flutter by social media butterfly the trivial publicity machine Is a coughing can a good idea? Is a coughing can a good idea? Is a coughing can a good idea? Remains to be seen Better response than that, right? They're all quite tuned in, are you? <laughs> Remains to be done. Oh, yeah! 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 Oh, yeah!
Turkey's on the yes. Yeah. Oh, that's clever. Then after explaining these things in Cuba, he's sticking out the door. <laughs> <laughs> and then people can already be tasered by them. <laughs> One of the great things about the, uh, the West Brom manager, Valerian Ishmael, is he's, uh, you know, likes to wear a nice bomber jacket on the touchline to sort of enhance his hard as nails image for two. There's only one theme lacking in his uh, match day wardrobe, and that's a pair of jeans. <laughs> Wear a suit until he axed it. Found a casual substitute, stone washed, relaxed fit. From Brazil to Bulgaria, on the touchline and technical area, football managers are wearing jeans. The shell sports wear her rip slim fit looks hotter. When sported by Sean Dyche and Graham Potter An assistant coach in shorts in December is an image I'd rather not remember that football managers A wearing jeans Brendan Rodgers often goes out shopping Fashion league is one he dreams of topping Recent acid wash acquisition and heads of those called back by tradition for bomb and it are wearing jeans. The white pants crudely chanted, what's he got on? Dark blue distress and fits hard wearing cotton. There's athletes help for those in need from Kenny Jacket, Neil Harris to Neil Warnock's flares flap in the breeze. Steve Bruce cuts a dash in dungarees. No foul committed, the ref says play on. Gary Monks transferred two spray arms. Football manager wearing jeans. Two nil down, half time at Crimsby Town. His wardrobe and his team get a dressing down. Roy Hodgson still looks sharp in a suit. Pop. Wait till you see Bielsa in Booker. On cup final day, double denim droves down Wembley Way. A united apparel from dugout to crowd. Rossi and Parfit would be so proud. Football managers are wearing jeans. Football managers are wearing jeans. It's a real game changer. Football managers are wearing jeans. Tactical genius. Football managers are wearing jeans. A victory over two legs. Being a vegan, I'm not, I don't drink real turks, but I've got some turpentine substitute that's some uh, pretty good uh, oxygen. Now this coming Saturday we're going to be filming a brand new video. You haven't been in any of my videos, have you? I uh, don't oh know, he's in it already. Wet suit. Surfboard. Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go into Starport 7, half a brick common. Try to recreate Bondi Beach on Christmas Day in the 1990s. So, so too niche for you. Uh, <laughs> is that a, yeah, within your uh, acting range? So, if anybody would like to come along, I can pay handsomely with Bombay Mix, or as we're going to call it, Bondi Mix on the day. <laughs> and uh, from 11 o'clock till 3, yeah, nice and relaxed. A fun afternoon, guaranteed. So if anybody would like to come along, either drop me a message. You haven't been in the video, have you yet? No. <laughs> well, you could, all, could yeah, yeah. You could also wear a bit of Tim Saw or a Santa hat if you wanted yes. to. Because uh, I think that would too. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, we'll carry on with the, uh, the show. This is a song all about my uh, fear of horse chestnut trees. Which I've only recently managed to conquer. Coffee and cake culture, new vague flavours, 
Waistcoat Wednesday, competitive cyber, Black Friday, white noise, ignoring blue flannel, watching Mrs. Brown's boys, sales are booming, the motivational warlord. No listening attributes, practicing a power stance in a Teflon suit. A mediocre, mass YouTube subscribers, box for tea, microwave, microfibers, sales are booming, a motivational warlord. Transfer deadline, failings, fuel abusive chance, resting on lulls. Tending hard to implants. We're all in a central room as a right. The views of singers I once like say nothing to me about my life. Tactical false line, trends for the eyebrows will be frowned upon in time. Diverting tactics, feigning surprise, ultra crepidarians are on the rise. Sales are burning, of motivational warlord. Impressions. We're on nerve, another many silence, impeccably observed. A celebratory tattoo so it won't be forgotten. The battle of the egos from the top to the bottom. Is watch through handheld devices, can't afford a drink, and sponsored venue prices, and even piping. I rate shoppers, Michael Toilet selfies, patriotic litter droppers, coming in to bowl the spin, masters misinforming that a nice bucket challenge will help big global warming. Cigars for the fast food chain tycoons. Golden handshakes for silver spoons. The ref looks at his watch. All time's closing in. And he's got two single use razors for his double chin. Low expectations. High demand. For loads of bitches. Heads in the sun. So is a bummer. Observational ruler. Sales are booming, of motivational warlord. Sales are booming, of motivational warlord. Sales are booming. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, any of you familiar with the term trypanophobia? I know what that means. So that I happen to suffer from it's a fear of fear of needles and medical procedures. Now, don't all fret because uh, I have had my jabs. Obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be here, would I? Uh, and uh, this is a song after going through the ordeal of my first one. It's a little something called Brave Boy. <laughs> Suffering from needle phobia, it's both frightening and hard to justify. But the thought of getting a small reward sometimes helps me through it, seemingly there in short supply. I got a brave boy sticker, but I was hoping for an enamel badge. I got a brave boy sticker, but I was hoping for an enamel badge. That the cost of a batch might be seen as a drain on resources. His jab was an achievement for me. It was a man who spent 37 billion on a foul track and trade system. A million's more an efficient thing for you. I got a brave voice sticker, but I was hoping for an enamel badge. I got a brave voice sticker, but I was hoping for an enamel badge. Amazing NHS stuff alleviated. The nervousness I could not help displaying. My fears are patiently tolerated Their enduring skills honed observing Perhaps in lieu of playing For 24 hours after my vaccination 
My temperature rose and I felt silly Those daily Downing Street briefings left me similarly nauseous Also brought about by a small prick I got a brave voice sticker but I was hoping for an enamel badge I got a brave voice sticker but I was hoping for an enamel badge I got a brave voice sticker but I was hoping And like health workers I am left hoping Well, I, uh, I had a gig on Friday night over in uh, Stanbridge, first one with the band since January 2020. Absolutely brilliant it was. Just leaving the house to uh, go meet the boys to set up, get a message on my phone, an email actually. And, uh, oh, redundancy notice. Ah, bloody hell. Yeah. That's shit timing now, it's just I'm going to go on there. Anyway, just thought I'd mention it for A for a little bit of sympathy. Aww. But you, but you never know who's listening to you. Oh. I wouldn't mind him flying in for a, you know, short hours for lots of money, so <laughs> you never know, do you? That's all up perplexed at once. <laughs> anyway, just sort of burden you with my worries there. Just to explain why I perhaps might not quite seem quite like my usual self. Writers pen a return of an old soap road and a desperate bid to revive interest and boost ratings. It's FA Cup weekend when standing pundits criticise managers for fielding reserves. Join us tonight at nine as we take a nostalgic look back to when times were similarly poor. But the music was much better. Bertrand Russell, Isaac Newton, Pythagoras, Einstein, Joey Barton. <laughs> Firing the next generation Radio callers gloat about listening to the show every day Whilst working from home And at last I understand Why tradesmen on building sites Never bother to quite tune them in properly Yet another long distance lorry driver falls into a lay-by in tears to text in by hearing an emotional song. A discussion on Chris Pack's sell by dates is interspersed with old kids TV themes. Inspiring the next generation. something not much good in the first place gathers momentum, while original mods attach mirrors to mobility scooters. I can't help but worry about whether the mod skews and rude boys of tomorrow will dress in Emma Ranakanu polo shirts, singer-songwriters and their collaboration threats, having reached retrospective points in their careers. Deep Pants People, Greggs and Co, the gastric band of this week's Top of the Ops. Inspiring the next generation Sport can stay unite, so sure it will forever Cause when things don't go your way, it's nice to boom together The age of the conspiracy theory. I'm surprised I was questioning how the woman off the weakest link got the countdown job. Yes, yeah, cause more for recycling, but I just reckon that bags for life should become cheaper as you get older. The decline of social drinking replaced by the more affordable junk food escape. <laughs> Firing the next generation A scuffle breaks out in the record store day queue 
highlighting the competitive pursuit of vinyl rarities. My time's often spent trying to get my head around the fact that Sam Smith sells more records than TV Smith. I'm at least temporarily buoyed by the imminent arrival across two channels and the next global pandemic. Nom nom bake off, hit me with your selfie stick, leopard print onesie. <laughs> Inspiring the next generation. Inspiring the next generation. People can relate to it, can't they? Oh, he's, he is human after all this guy. You know? <laughs> Something like that, anyway. That's my way of getting there. Have we got time for one or two more, or what do we do for time? No, I, didn't, uh, I didn't set my stuff. Two, two more? Yeah. Two more. Yeah. Two more. Yeah. As you can see here, there's lots of, uh, well, there's lots more merchandise in the back. I've got some records there, I've got some CDs, some mugs. And there's a lot of, uh, Bulk buying fans at the moment, aren't they? You know, stocking up on different things. So, I reckon. Uh, That's all we're going to get for Christmas. I've got lots of stuff that I'd much rather be stockpiled at your house than mine. That's all I'm saying. So, if anybody wants to, uh, you know, buy in bulk before it all runs out. <laughs> yes, I have. Yeah. Just in the back there, on the When we. Uh, when we play the gig on Friday, someone comes, oh, I suppose you would be playing that James Bond theme, won't you? So, yeah. <laughs> so, oh. so uh, it appears to become topical. I better play it now, I suppose. The song was inspired by the time I uh, got mistaken for Curly Watts whilst on a tour of the Granada Studios. As, if, as embarrassing as it was at the time, did inspire me to write a song all about lookalikes, and in particular ones with a slight 007 resemblance. I want to stand out from the crowd, no rich man on the street. I have to work long, I still can't seem to make ends meet. People have always said I resemble an actor on TV, and I quite know how I ended up joining a lookalike agency. <laughs> The work was steady with me looking at a sport shop and a bar Hardly an insight into what it must be like to be a star Till one morning I woke to find an unexpected twist The couple was named as the next James Bond and overnight became a list My name's Bond, well they say they bring her My name's Bond my name's Bond, call me live twice, go finger. My name's Bond, James look alike Bond. I thought sick pictures didn't come when I was there to see the sights. See the far cry from switching on village Christmas lights, factory hours, even more of distant memory. Farmer workmates, I hear a passing comment jealously. My name's Bond, I'm so well dressed it's you in charm My name's Bond My name's Bond, with a wannabe heart and a black man on my arm My name's Bond, James look alike Bond Shake and I stir, as the money hanging he dropped my whole world crushed by well and hurt. My doppelganger is not all he's cracked up to be. I'll admit, he's scared of the daylights out of me. His list of crimes he's endless. Facing double those seven years inside. Press around to get in, my high life's on the slide. Public car religion, other serious matters, I think I'll have to sue. My career's in tatters. My name's Bond. Though the novelty's wearing thin, my name's Bond. 
My name's Bond, I'm at the mass, see off my famous twin. My name's Bond, James look alive, boy. By the taste of celebrity and wealth Fooled into thinking I'd be better at myself A small crumb of comfort Leaves my loss of earning Guess the hangers on have gone I doubt that they're returning Fame based on looks I won't be such a fool again I thought I needed something To help to ease the pain I sought medical advice The bit to ease my woe My GP said sit down bond I said doctor no <laughs> Is that not fun? Forget the man I used to be. Well, I'm no fool. Well, I'm no fun. It must be someone else who looks like me. Oh, what a marvelous audience! Thank you all for listening. Really enjoy the sick pins and it. I can't wait to see them now. I've seen them since the, um, the Kidminster Fringe Festival, I think it was, probably about three years ago. Fabulous that was, wasn't it? Are they listening in? Yes. Yes, good, yeah. I probably think they're weird. I probably think you're worried, idiots. <laughs> no, I think they're really brilliant. So I shall leave with the only song in the history of popular music to begin with the line A new cure for insomnia that's more than just a myth. Audio books by former Arsenal striker Alan Smith. <laughs> You've been watching the Honda Express, so this is called Double Edged Sword. Yeah. Insomnia, it's more than just a myth. Audio books by former Arsenal striker Alan Smith and chill out zone. Meets nasal monotone. Fashion advice from eBay sellers, I can't help but doubt. So many items claim look great with jeans on a night out and get to grips with these style tips. I have to wonder if they'll ever be a time When bands stop posting Rehearsal clips online You may be rock and roll saviors But they do me no favors Local kids swimming club are shopping at a cost I leave the supermarket with bread and crystals Wash, they should be briefed Tins underneath. My zest for the high life seems to step away. So I struggle with the word search on a rainy holiday. Got feelings lurk. They'll be now soon back at work. Monday morning daydreams as a colleague reminisces. Detailed descriptions of Sunday league misses. Just when you think things might go in your way You realise you can't win It's like being offered a slot on later with jewels As long as you let him join in You piano cards Double X songs Gestures from the snow who take pity on my plight by sending me a cyber hook. They all should fear my cyber clip round the ear. People think I'm stubborn and it's getting out of hand. But they don't realise I've got an eight in tribute band, no knock and go. It's not yet been disowned. I'm not always against the naval preconception Never trust a man who owns the Chubby Brown Collection <laughs> Just when you think things might be going your way You realise you can't win It's like being offered a slot on later with jewels As long as you let him join in You piano cards
Don't forget the video shoot Saturday, 11 till 3. Drop me a message for more details. Thank you very much. <laughs>